Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial for the Crafting Dead server. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to create the Crafting Dead server for yourself. If you guys want help with port forwarding, that will be another tutorial, just ask in the comments. And this video will be going through how to get the server to run when it doesn't run correctly, it's having errors, the RAM usage is not right, There's, you're not ha you don't have enough RAM in your system, or your system is 32-bit versus 64-bit, that is a difference, there is always a difference, I'll teach you how to make the run.batch files, you can follow along, and hopefully you guys will have a server just like me, and it took me seconds, so let's start. By The first thing you want to do is go to the Crafting Dead official website. Sorry, I'm using Google Explorer. I hate it so much. I have Chrome, but it's it's got like it's buggy. What you want to do is hit server download. Now, like everybody else, you're gonna be like, oh, he's not clicking it. Yeah, I will click it, but I don't need to click it because I already have it, and I don't. I hate not doing that because it makes people think it's bad. But it is on a, an official website, so after you download it, it's gonna you, you probably save it to your desktop. You're gonna get this. Create a new folder. Name it. You can name it this. I'm just gonna name it CD for the tutorial. Tutor tutorial for the server. You want to open this and ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> what you want to do is take all these all these files, drag them into the new folder that you just created, and then you can get rid of this, put it to the side, do whatever you want with it. Open this folder. Inside this folder, you're going to have three items. This has got all the whatever gajama dama stupid stuff I, don't, I have no clue what that is what you want to do at first is rename this to server this kid that already has done this you've already been here so what you want to do next is the t for me it's six i have a 64-bit operating system now when i run this it's gonna ask me to run it it's gonna have an error it's gonna say cannot specify this blah 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 the size exceeds the maximum blah 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 hit any key it shuts down what you want to do now is hit edit Right, right click hit edit and here you want to switch this my computer has four gigs of ram this is not my main computer so for now i'm just gonna put one gig i'm not actually making a server with this so one gig is enough for probably 10 people you and your friends it's all about internet speed so one and one make sure they're both one and one gigs if you don't have it one gig you have to change this to half a gig which would be 512 mb or 512 m and do the same thing on both sides here too but I'm not going to do that because not a, I guess it's unnecessary ooh that's not right oh nope caps lock my bads okay after that you exit out make sure you hit save after that when you run it you're going to hit run for me it will work now this is where everybody else for that doesn't have this issue will now you can move forward you're going to have a world, you're going to have everything, it's going to be a stock world. You can type stop to stop the server, hit F. Now, if you want to set up your server, you can go into properties. This is where you would put forward later on. You would put your IP in, in here. You can do your custom mod. If you want to actually edit the mod because it comes with a stock one, you're going to have to go to the crafting dead and then the crafting dead server properties and you have to fill these out. But don't screw with them unless you know what you're doing because it won't run the server right if you change too much stuff. I've messed with it and I didn't figure out how it works yet. All the configs for guns and everything are in here. That's all for you to mess with. All the spawning rates and everything. Now for a person that's having issues getting it to run, this is where I'm going to try to help you. So now you can get rid of everything. Well, you don't have to. I, I'm going to get rid of everything so that I can help you. And I want to start over again. Now, I'm going to just do this again. So just don't mind me doing this quick. Now here, I want to drag this in here. Now when you get to here, you're going to run it like you did already. And you're not. You're going to have an error. Yours is not going to be this exact one like this. It's going to be because you might have a 32-bit system. And this is where I'm, going to, I'm just going to rename this uh, server again. Now what you want to do, you can just delete this, it's unnecessary, you don't need it anymore because clearly you're having an issue with it. Now you want to go to Google and type in server batch files for Minecraft. Bat for server. Oh, no, wait, for Minecraft, my bad. Now you want to find, this one usually works, any of them have them, they usually do. What you want to do is you want to go down to, come on. Well, these might work too, but I usually go down to, where are you? Okay. So it is, it is 512M, so that's how that works. 12, well, 
1024 megabytes is a gigabyte, so you don't have to mess with that. Here we go. Here's an example of a batch file. This one is, not, I don't believe this is for, hold up, I don't, I don't want to mess with this. I want to get you the right one, so the right one would be, I am horrible at tutorials. I am so sorry. I'll get better if I do more, but what I'm telling you should work. So for a 32-bit system, I want to try to find another website because this one's not, it has them, but I don't know which one is the right one. Let's try bucket. This one usually, yeah, this is the one I usually, okay, so here is for Windows. There should be two of them for Windows. Unless this one is, I would say this one should work. Just copy this, go back to that folder you were in, make new text document, wait, actually, yes, yeah, text document, name it run, that's it, open that, paste it, just as it is, um, this is what you're going to have to do, for this part you're going to have to do type in exchange for craft bucket server, because that's what we named the file, save this as file, save as, to the same folder, to all, and name it run dot bat which is going to make it a run file now then click save now it's there now you can close that out and run this now it's going to it's going to work this should work for both 32 bit and 64 bit i can't i'm so sorry my dogs are barking this is a different way that than what it came like and if you have any issues I can't remember your name right now, but if you have any issues with this, you can contact me on YouTube and I will Skype you personally and help you get this figured out. This should work guaranteed, no issues. I will leave the I'll copy and paste what I used in the description with the links to all the things. Thank you for watching.